welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are going to be looking at the second group of gear. Yesterday we covered the pack and what I'm going to be carrying on the outside of it. The stuff that I'm going to need like easy access to. Now is the gear that is a little bit more, um, you know, what's well, for camp. So this is going to be all the stuff in my ditty bag and then all the stuff I'm using for food and cooking. So the ditty bag is just the random odds and ends that um, you bring along for hiking. And starting out with, I've got my electronics. So this is a 10,000 uh, milliamp hour anchor battery bank. It's about half the, it is half the size of what I've taken on previous hikes uh, because I've got better batteries and better power management. So in here I've got charging cables and backup batteries and memory cards for my GoPro and cords that'll help me charge up other things with this anchor uh, recharge block. And what this is, is it's got really fast IQ charging, which helps keep or helps me get everything recharged in town quickly. And I won't need to worry about having to charge everything at once because I'm limited on time. Got little bags for each of these. Um, in here, I've got a first aid kit that I've put together myself over the years. Basically, it's to cover minor injuries such as cuts, scrapes, bug bites, and burns. Anything more serious than that, and you're gonna wanna get evacuated. So that's what the SOS will be for. And um, in other serious situations, usually there's somebody around that has like more robust uh, first aid so that you can always get help from them. Um, here I've got my TP bag. Uh, it's brown because I think that's funny. And um, I've got a trowel for digging a cat hole. And this is the one that I've brought along uh, since the beginning. One of the few pieces of gear that I have uh, not worn out completely on a hike. Uh, the other stuff in my, in my um, ditty bag are this mesh bag, similar to the one that I'm keeping my sandals in, and that's for use socks. So I let, hang that on the outside of my pack and um, let them dry so that they can potentially be reused or you know dry out if uh, need be. I've got this day pack that is first time I'm carrying something like this. I think it's gonna be a huge help because carrying laundry to and from the laundromat, uh, getting groceries home, it's a lot easier when you've got a backpack than it is to like try and carry bags or use your arms. Uh, this is a bear bag hang kit. And so this is a tent stake, paracord, um, other, uh, let's see, rock bag, other stuff to hang a line in a tree that we can hang food from. Speaking of food, here is my food bag. And so this is a Hyperlite pod, just like this other one here. It makes it really easy to reach in and find what you're looking for instead of trying to like search through all of your gear. It looks like I gotta fix this one. Um, anyway, so this is only for when I'm hiking. When I am gonna be in camp, then I put all my food into this ursac, and that's a bear resistant uh, soft sack that uh, would be hung from the tree or just you know wrapped around it or tied around a tree so that a bear can't get it. Uh, to cook, I've got my Vargo bot, and inside of here I've got a little camp stove that you tie on or twist onto a canister of butane. Uh, hot mug, so this is something that I could put hot chocolate in, um, any other hot beverages or cold beverages for that matter. Got a spoon. Uh, a lot of people take fork or sporks, and uh, there's really no reason for a spork. It's a really bad spoon and a really bad fork. So until I find a food that on trail that can't be eaten with a spoon, I'm gonna stick with that. And then I'm also bringing this little bottle here, and this is a, a hot sauce container. Or what I'm gonna use is a hot sauce container. So this is for basically any type of sauce. It's two and a half ounces, and uh, my plan is to keep hot sauce in there because I mostly eat beans and rice. And so hot sauce is a great accompaniment to that. The other thing I'm gonna need to do that I don't have here is when it comes to the Sierra, I'm not sure exactly what portion of the Sierra, but also uh, the Desolation Wilderness near Lake Tahoe, I'm gonna have to use a bear canister, which will replace the ursac as my nighttime storage for food. Uh, not too much difference in weight, just a big like cylinder that's got um, a locking top on it. 
But that's basically all of the non-Big 3 gear that I'm going to be carrying in my, um, in my, in my pack. So appreciate you guys taking a look at what I'm carrying, and I will see you tomorrow with the next set of stuff, which will be my sleep system and tent. So looking forward to seeing you guys then.